guys welcome to the video tutorials of codeandtest.com in this video we'll see what acceptance testing is okay acceptance testing is testing performed to confirm that the software is ready to deliver to the end users okay and it is deter and uh, it's performed to determine if the software is meeting the business requirements okay acceptance testing is testing performed to confirm that the software is ready to deliver okay and it's usually performed by subject experts test ma uh, test managers team leaders delivery heads and end users okay this acceptance testing is performed on a completed software and the test environment should be identical to the production environment okay acceptance test the environment in which acceptance testing is performed should be identical to the production environment production environment is sometimes called as user environment or end user environment all right and uh, acceptance testing done by the user is termed as user acceptance testing uat okay uat is also called as end user testing site testing or field testing all right and uh, acceptance testing is divided into alpha testing and beta testing first we'll see what alpha testing is alpha testing is testing performed at the organization before releasing the software to the customer all right alpha testing is testing performed at the organization before releasing the software to the customer it's usually done by subject experts like managers test managers i mean team leaders delivery heads all right and some changes might still be made in this software as a result of this alpha testing all right so user acceptance testing i mean acceptance testing performed at the organization is alpha testing okay now let's go to beta testing beta testing is testing performed at the customer place by the end users okay so feedback is taken from the end users and if the feedback is positive the software is released otherwise some changes are made before releasing the software all right so that's acceptance testing 